Peppa Pig Tales. Let's jump in! Today, Peppa and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we'd better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no, we're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. And there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. So, we are here. And we need to get here. We can take the blue train first and then take the red train. Yes, well done, Peppa. Off we go. First, Peppa must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Peppa. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Peppa. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> the train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! <laughs> Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you! <laughs> no autographs today! Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. Huh. Huh. Uh. 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 Wow! Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. Well done! You got a high score. That's because Peppa and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Peppa. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens! <laughs> can we play that game next? Of course, Peppa. Mummy Pig is showing Peppa how to play Carrot Bop. She is bopping the carrots whenever they pop up. Bop! 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 <laughs> Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please. Prize, Daddy. Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. But is there a game we can play all together? I know just the game. <laughs> Pepper and her family are playing a balloon game. Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Did we get another high score? Yes, your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot. Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize! Hooray! Let's go! Hello again, Peppa. Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course! With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade and Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. Hello everyone, I'm Peppa, the dentist. I'll help you look after your teeth. Whoa! Today, Miss Rabbit has come to teach Peppa's playgroup about teeth. Peppa is pretending she is a dentist. <laughs> Got you, for you. Thank you, Peppa. Well, now that you've caught your tea, <laughs> who knows what we can do to look after them? Um, um, go to the dentist? That's right. Who has been to the dentist before? Me, 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 me. Gerald Giraffe has not been to the dentist before. Can I show Gerald what it's like at the dentist, Miss Rabbit? I've been lots of times. What a great idea! <laughs> Peppa is pretending she is the dentist and Gerald is the patient. Hello, Mr Gerald. Please sit on this enormous chair. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs Dentist. Here is your apron. <laughs> <gasps> Why do I need glasses, Mrs Peppa? For this big light. Please open wide, like this. Ah! Uh, so I can see your teeth. Ah! Uh. Peppa is using the torch to see Gerald's teeth. You have very nice teeth, Mr Gerald. So you get a sticker. Thank you! <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Well done, Peppa and Gerald. <laughs> Does anyone know a way we can look after our teeth at home? Um, uh, we can brush our teeth. That's right, Susie. Brushing our teeth keeps them clean. Shall we practice brushing our teeth? Yes! Miss Rabbit is giving everyone toothbrushes so they can practice brushing their teeth. First, we get the brush wet. <laughs> Then we put some toothpaste on. Everyone is adding little dollops of toothpaste to their toothbrush. But Candy has added a big dollop. Now what do we do, class? We... Brush! <laughs> Remember to brush the front and the shine. Tops and bottoms. Oh. Well done, everyone. <laughs> everyone did very well today, so everyone gets stickers. Oh. Peppa likes pretending to be a dentist, and Peppa really likes. Peppa and her family are out in the car. Oh. But they're having a bit of trouble. Oh dear, the car won't start. You've broken down. Oh. Don't worry, I'll take you to the garage. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Bull is towing the car away to be fixed. George and Pepper <laughs> like being towed. Hmm. Aha! Oh dear, I see. Well, 
We can fix it. Oh, good. But we'll have to order a new part. It won't be easy or cheap. Oh. Oh, oh dear. How long will it take? It will take oh, as long as it takes. But how will I get to work? There's lots of cars you can use while yours is being fixed. Follow me. There's lots of spare cars at the garage. Pick any one you like. <gasps> A motorbike. This is perfect. Oh. Let's take it for a test drive. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes riding the motorbike. Hello. <gasps> but motorbikes don't keep you dry in the rain. Hmm, maybe we need something a bit tougher. Let's try this. Pepper has found a monster truck, which is very tough. I think a monster truck might be a bit too tough for what we need. Sorry. What about something nice and spacious, like this bus? Ah. <laughs> Mummy Pig likes the bus very much. Ooh. <gasps> it's ever so roomy and peaceful. Oh, dear. But everyone thinks it's a real bus. There's only one car left for Peppa and her family to try. It's a bit smelly. That's because it's my lorry for collecting the recycling. So you can't take that one, I'm afraid. I'm not sure we'll ever find a car as perfect as our car. <laughs> well, that's lucky. You took so long to pick a new car that we managed to fix your old one. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Pepper's family like driving different cars, but they like driving their family car most of all. Hooray! Today, Pepper's playgroup are on a trip to the lake. They are going to row boats. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. Are you ready to row boats today? Oh, yes! The rowing boats are just over there. Let's go! Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is wearing life jackets and helmets to keep them safe on the boats. You all look ready to get going. Yes! <laughs> Pepper, Susie and Pedro You'll be in the red rowing boat with me and Grumpy Rabbit. <laughs> and Mandy, Emily and Danny will be in the blue rowing boat with me and Captain Dog. Quick! To row the boat, you have to put this special stick called an oar in the water and pull like this. Heave! Hooray! Now you try. Everyone is very excited to row the boats themselves. But no one is working together. Why isn't the boat moving, Miss Captain Rabbit? Everyone needs to row together all at once, like this. When I say heave, we push. And when I say ho, we pull. <laughs> Let's all try together. Heave, ho. Well done. Hooray! The boat is moving along the water. Everyone is working together as a team. Heave, ho. Everyone is having lots of fun rowing their boats, but it is almost time to go home. Time to row back to shore now, children. Your parents have come to collect you. Squeak, can we race to the shore? A wonderful idea, Mandy. Is 
everyone ready? Ready! On your marks, get set, go! Everyone is rowing as fast as they can back to the shore. Peppa is helping her friends row as a team. Weave, pull. <laughs> Weave, blow. Um, believe, go. Almost there. It's neck and neck. It's a draw. Well done, children. Everyone loves rowing boats and everyone loves working as a team. Who's ready for an adventure to the seaside? Hooray! Peppa and her family are going out for the day. Oh dear, I think I forgot to put petrol in the car. Never mind. Let's take the train to the beach. Hooray! Peppa and her family are catching a train to the seaside. Tickets, please. We're going to the seaside. And Mummy didn't put petrol in the car. How exciting. <laughs> I love the seaside. I think it's time for some lunch. Peppa, <laughs> let's look for the dining carriage. <laughs> Daddy Pig and Peppa are walking through the train to the dining carriage. It is very wobbly. Oh, this carriage must be for passengers who want to sleep. <laughs> Whoa! This carriage must be for people who want to play on the train. Wow! Hi, Danny! Hi, Gerald! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> uh -oh. ah. This must be the cinema carriage. Excuse, Excuse me. me! Peppa and Daddy Pig have found the dining carriage. Ah. This carriage must be for people who want lunch. Oh. Is that your tummy rumbling, Daddy? I'm afraid the train has broken down. Oh dear, we'll have to take the bus. Now, Peppa's family are waiting to catch the bus uh -huh. to the seaside. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Next stop, the seaside! Hooray! Whoa! The bus has broken huh. down. I think somebody forgot petrol again. <laughs> now how will we get to the seaside? Well, we can walk. The seaside is just down the hill. This was the best trip to the seaside ever. I can't wait to see how we get back home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> no splashing, Mr Bull. Whoops. Sorry, Peppa. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's OK, Mr Bull. The second rule is... No running. Silly Mr. Bull. No running. Sorry again. Mr. Bull doesn't know any of the rules. And the last rule is everyone must have a simply splendid time. Oh, oh. Have a splendid time, Mr. Bull. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Right you are, Pepper. Enjoy the pool, everyone. 
What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. Hooray! Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. <laughs> Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! <laughs> well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. Good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks, get set, go! And Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Pepper. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Danny. Hello, Mr. Oh. They're nearly at the finish line. It's neck and neck. Who will come out on top? It's a draw. Everybody wins. Pepper and her friends love the slides. But they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Oh. Uh -huh. No, no splashing! <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to play on the seesaw. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Is there a problem, Mr. Bull? Just finishing fixing the seesaw, Daddy Pig. There, now it's safe as houses and ready to go. Hooray! Peppa loves playing on the seesaw. Will you play with me, Mr. Bull? It's fun. Me? Why not? It is fixed and ready after all. Whee! Ha 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 Well, that was fun. How are you going to get down? You need to go up so Peppa can come down. Oh, like this? Whee! <laughs> Mr. Bull is stuck at the bottom of the seesaw. Mr. Bull is a grown up and Peppa is small, so the seesaw won't balance. You need something heavy on Peppa's side. Blimey, how do you know that? I am a clever clot. <laughs> right, oh then. Peppa's backpack will make ah. her heavier. Ah. <laughs> Mr. Bull is still stuck oh. at the bottom of the seesaw. I suppose it's good fun at the bottom, too. What a cracking view of the grass. <laughs> we need another grown-up to play with, Mr. Bull. Hmm. I wonder where we can find another grown-up. You're a grown-up, Daddy. Oh, yes, so I am. I'll play with you, Mr. Bull. Oh. Yay! Whoa! <laughs> Daddy Pig Whoa. and Mr. Bull are both grown-ups. So the seesaw is balanced and goes up and down. Stop! Are you not having fun, Mr. Bull? I'm having a brilliant time. I just wanted to see the view. Okie dokie, let's go! Whee! Up into the sky! Hello, sun! Hello, grass! Hello, clouds! <laughs> Hello, pepper! <laughs> Today, Pepper and George are going for a picnic with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Nearly there! Whoa. <laughs> it's Peppa's first time being in charge of packing the picnic. Are you okay, Peppa? I need to bring all my toys for the picnic. <laughs>
But they won't fit. Hmm. Do you need all of your toys? Uh, I know. I can just bring Teddy instead. Dinosaur! <laughs> and dinosaur. Wonderful. We won't have space for the food if we bring all your toys. What kind of food would you like to make for the picnic, Pepper? Oh, let's make spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is not very good picnic food. How about sandwiches? I love sandwiches too. <laughs> what is your favourite kind of sandwich? Jam! <laughs> Pepper, George and Granny Pig are making Yay! jam sandwiches. Will we need anything else for the picnic, Pepper? Um... We need a comfy picnic blanket. Can you find one, Grandpa? Aye, aye, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Making jam sandwiches is very messy. And cleaning the mess has made an even bigger mess. Not to worry. You can't make jam sandwiches without getting a little jammy. <laughs> Pepper's sandwiches are triangles. Ta-da! And George's are dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Got the blanket. Ah. Do we need anything else, Pepper? Hmm. We need cups for our orange juice. Done, Pepper. Looks like we're ready to go. This is going to be so oh. much fun. Oh no, it's raining. Picnics are not as fun in the rain. Oh dear, I think our outdoor picnic will have to wait, oh. Pepper. Oh. But why don't we have an indoor picnic instead? Yay! Peppa has set up her picnic indoors. Now we can have a picnic even when it's raining. And all my toys can come too. Picnic! <laughs> Everyone loves Peppa's picnic and Peppa loved packing it for them. Peppa and her family are watching a film at the cinema. Mummy, I need to go to the toilet. OK, Peppa, we'll go to the one just outside. We're just going to the toilet. The toilet? Good idea. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, dear. The toilet is closed for cleaning. But I really need to go. There's a public toilet just down the road. Follow me, everyone. Peppa and her family have found a ah. toilet. Here's the toilet, Peppa. Let's join the queue. I'm afraid the queue starts over there. <gasps> but the queue for the toilet is very, very long. <laughs> I'm not sure I can wait that long. Hmm. There's a toilet in the supermarket. Let's try there. Peppa, Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and George look everywhere for a toilet. They try the supermarket. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Oh! They try the zoo. Ah. Sorry, Peppa! This toilet needs fixing! Oh! They even try a toilet shop. I'm sorry, but these toilets are for display purposes only. There are no toilets anywhere. <laughs> Oh dear, now I need the toilet too. So do I. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Look, the cinema toilet is open again. Hooray! <laughs> Finally, Peppa and her family are back to watch the film. <gasps> but now the film has ended. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to watch it from the start. Does anyone need the toilet first? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. There, there. Today, Peppa has found a video of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho, yes. All babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look, now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh! <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Ooh. Ooh. Yum! Peppa has decided she has a craving too. I really want to eat... Oh! Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa thinks cravings are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was very yummy. What else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Peppa. I have a baby on my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. right -o. here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <laughs> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting, so I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> a little here and a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more Mr. like Scott? foot tickles. <laughs> oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her friends are at the cinema. They've just watched a film called Vegetables in Space 2. Oh, don't worry, Pedro. I'll save you. Everyone enjoyed the film so much, they're pretending they are in it. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Would you like to play Vegetables in Space at my house? Yes, yes, <laughs> Everyone is very excited to get dressed up for the game. Pedro Pony is an astronaut. Susie Sheep is a robot. Gerald Giraffe is an alien. And Peppa is a space hero. Let's go outside and pretend we're on the moon. Hooray! <laughs> Follow me. Pew, pew. Peppa and her friends are imagining they're on the moon, just like in the film. Everyone has lots of fun pretending to float on the moon. Woohoo! Oh, good idea, Gerald. We can use the rocket cars to drive around. <laughs> 
Oh dear. Wow. There aren't enough rocket cars for everyone. Do you want to ride on my car, Susie? Buzz, buzz. Susie is <laughs> pretending her boots are rocket boots. Now everyone has a fun way to explore the moon. Um, what are we looking for on the moon? Beep, the only thing on the moon is the moon. Beep, Papa. The moon is made of cheese. So maybe we can find some for lunch. Of course. <laughs> what was that? Was it a moon monster? No, Peppa. I am... <gasps> your daddy. And I've brought you all some cheese sandwiches for lunch. Everyone loves pretending to play on the moon, but everyone loves lunchtime even more. <gasps> that car went really fast. Don't worry, this is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look, and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Peppa is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Peppa. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute. Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Oh, the red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh. Well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK. Bye, Peppa. Ooh. Great work, Officer Peppa. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man. That means we can go. All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Peppa loves keeping everyone safe. And everyone loves feeling safe. And Peppa is having some delicious breakfast. Oh. What's happened to this cereal? <laughs> April Fools! <laughs> April Fools? What's that? Today is April Fools' Day. It's a day where people make each other laugh by playing silly jokes. Like I just did with your cereal. I like silly jokes. Can we do one on Daddy? That's a great idea. Daddy Pig is reading on the sofa, but Mummy Pig and Peppa have come to play a joke on him. 
Could you please pass my glasses, Mummy Pig? Of course. Peppa and Mummy Pig are playing a joke on Daddy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> That's strange. These glasses have made it even harder to see. April Fools! <laughs> <Fools. laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, these are joke glasses. Very funny. But you won't be able to play another joke on me. I am much too clever for that. Peppa <laughs> is playing another joke on Daddy Pig. Oh, no. Huh? I can't open this tube of crisps. Can you help me, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. That gave me a fright. <laughs> April, April Fools! <laughs> you got me again, Peppa. Well done. <laughs> Would you like to help me play an April Fool's Day joke on Mummy Pig, Peppa? <laughs> Peppa and her family have finished dinner and are now eating dessert. <laughs> Aha! Me and Peppa have made a tasty chocolate cake for dessert, haven't we, Peppa? Yes. <laughs> How lovely! It looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> My fork doesn't seem to work. <laughs> Try with your hands. Peppa and Daddy are playing a joke on Mummy Pig. <gasps> this isn't a cake. This is a sponge with icing on it. April, April Fools! Fools. <laughs> <laughs> what a clever joke. That reminds me. George brought some biscuits for you, Peppa. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, George. I love biscuits. April Fools! Peppa loves April Fools' Day. Everyone loves it. Peppa and her family are flying in an aeroplane. Woohoo! Yay! I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> but not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. Ooh! <laughs> Oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> Do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before and I am scared. Huh? Oh. oh! Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really... Really high. I don't see why not. Oh. It's really fun when the plane goes high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. Ah, too high, too high. Oh. Can we go lower instead, Miss Rabbit? Certainly. Oh! <laughs> oh! Too low! Far too low! Hmm. Let's do a loop de loop. Oh! <laughs> I don't think that worked either, George. <gasps> Look, Madam Gazelle, oh. that cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. <gasps> and that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Dinosaur! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to oh. do some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well, I suppose that might keep my mind off things. 
And so Pepper, George and Madame Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. Look at these! The line work! The attention to detail! Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray! We've landed! Whee! Already? But I was having fun! That wasn't scary at all! I told you, flying is really fun! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George have decided to dress up in Mummy and Daddy Pig's grown-up clothes. Gosh, what are these two grown-ups doing in our bedroom? I'm not a grown-up. I'm Peppa and that is George. Well, you both look very lovely. But why are you wearing our clothes? We want to choose our own clothes today. Whoa! <laughs> well, you do look very grown up. But I think our clothes might be a bit too big for you. Yes, these are a bit too big. Whoa! Clothes fit much better. Peppa and George have decided to wear their own clothes instead. <laughs> now, you need to make sure you choose the right clothes for the weather. Today, it is very sunny and hot. Oh. <laughs> Do you think those are good clothes for a sunny day? Um, no. They're a bit too hot. <sighs> And a bit too heavy. <laughs> Pepper and George have found some summery clothes to wear. That's much better. Now you also need to choose the right clothes for what you're going to do today. We're going to play group. But first we want to jump in muddy puddles. Puddles! Oh dear, <laughs> Pepper and George aren't wearing the right shoes for jumping in muddy puddles. Do you think you should wear boots instead? I think we should wear boots instead. Ho <laughs> <laughs> ho ho, splendid idea. <laughs> Lovely. Are we ready to go? Almost. I just want to try on a few more things. Bonjour, children. Wow, what beautiful <laughs> outfits you have on Pepper and George. They picked them all by themselves. <laughs> I can see that. And those boots. If you want to jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots, Madame mm. Gazelle. Of course. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping in muddy puddles. I suppose it is lucky I brought my boots today as well. <laughs> <laughs> today, Pepper and her family are at the museum. Look, George. This dinosaur has a sister. And a mummy. And a daddy. It's a whole family of dinosaurs. <laughs> Peppa loves the museum, but it is now closed. Thanks for coming. See you soon. But I don't want to leave. We don't have to leave, Peppa. Tonight, we are having a sleepover at the museum. Ooh. Hooray! Oh. Oh. What shall we do first on our sleepover? Hmm. Let's have a midnight feast. Yum, yum. Dig in, everyone. Huh? Oh, this orange is rather hard. Oh. All the food in the midnight feast is made of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> what shall we do next, Peppa? Huh? Peppa? Mummy Pig can't see where Peppa has gone. 
Here I am. I am a Viking. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a Viking. Grrr. Viking. <laughs> and I am a Viking. Uh, I mean a woolly mammoth. <laughs> Everyone is having lots of fun running away from the woolly mammoth. But all this chasing has made everyone quite tired. Oh, I think it's time for bed. Let's find a nice spot to go to sleep. <laughs> Good night, everyone. It is now morning and lots wow. of visitors have come to the museum. These Vikings, Granddad! Moo! What a great mammoth! It looks so lifelike! Everyone wow. thinks Peppa and her family are part of the museum. Uh, huh? What's going on? <sighs> well, that's not a Viking! That's Peppa! Oh dear! It looks like we didn't just sleep over at the museum, but we overslept. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Oh. <laughs> Mummy Pig is dropping Pepper off at Playgroup, but Mummy Pig is also looking after Baby Alexander. Oh, my. Mind if I clean up Alexander's smelly nappy before I go, Madam Gazelle? I insist. <laughs> oh, can we help clean him up? Please! <laughs> OK. Can you pass me the nappy cream from the changing bag <gasps> and a fresh nappy? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes helping yeah. Mummy Pig change baby Alexander's nappy. <laughs> there, fresh as a daisy. Can baby Alexander play with us? Please! Well, I don't see why not. Hooray! Peppa is showing baby Alexander all her favourite bits of the playgroup. These are the books. <sighs> Baby Alexander likes all the books. This is the whole world. <laughs> and he enjoys spinning the globe. <laughs> and this is Madame Gazelle. Bonjour, little Alexander. Oh! But he likes Madame Gazelle most of all. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perhaps it is time for some painting. <laughs> Everyone is painting pictures of themselves, Ooh. called ah. self-portraits. I'm Peppa Paint. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. I'm Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Susie. <laughs> and I'm Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> well done, baby Alexander. It looks like a tasty apple. Baby Alexander's painting has reminded Pepper that it's time for lunch. It's Baby Alexander's lunchtime too. He's eating special food for babies. Here comes the train, Alexander. Choo-choo! Is Baby Alexander's food nice, Mummy? He thinks so. Oh, oh my! Mind if I clean Alexander up again before we head off? I insist. I'll get the bag. Oh, let's go. Oh. Everyone loves having baby Alexander at playgroup. <laughs> Peppa and her family are taking baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel. But he isn't very happy. What's that smell? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. But we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel. Ooh. 
hold your noses, everyone. Boo! This Ferris wheel smells terrible. Sorry, Peppa, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes, baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> <laughs> Done, Peppa. We found the nappy changing station. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Pepper. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Pepper. There. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Pepper. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? Pepper and Susie Sheep have decided to wear their clothes backwards today. Oh! <laughs> Goodbye, Susie. Goodbye, Peppa. Oh. Hmm. Peppa, Susie, why are you wearing your clothes backwards? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and why are you walking backwards? Because today is backwards day. You say and do everything backwards. <laughs> No, we don't! <laughs> <laughs> well, have fun! <laughs> we won't! <laughs> Peppa and Susie Sheep are chasing each other around the garden backwards. <laughs> You're it! Try to catch me! <laughs> it's very difficult to play games backwards. Where did you go, Susie? Ooh, coming! <laughs> oh. I know! Let's play backwards in the park! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull is very confused to see Pepper and Susie Sheep skipping backwards. Good morning! Why are you going backwards? It's backwards day! We have to do everything backwards! Is it backwards day already? <laughs> I'd better get my backwards drills ready! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Whoops! Sorry! Pepper and Susie Sheep spend backwards day playing in the park. Backward swinging feels the same as forward. But not all the games are as fun backwards. This is backwards. No, this is backwards. Let's play backwards frisbee. Catch. <laughs> Who would like an ice cream? Yay! Oops, we mean no. no! 
I see you're having a fun backwards day. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to eat my ice cream backwards. Oops. <laughs> Upside down isn't quite the same as backwards. It's all very confusing. I think backwards day might be over now. Peppa and Susie <laughs> Sheep enjoyed Backwards Day, but they're very glad that things aren't backwards anymore. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are walking to the duck pond, but there's a big metal barrier in the way. Sorry, folks, the path is closed. But we're almost at the pond. Oh. I'm afraid it's much too slippy. Whoa! <laughs> Just follow the diversion signs with the bright red arrows. Won't take you long. A diversion is when you have to go a different way. Come on, everyone. <laughs> It'll be an adventure. See you soon, ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is! Oh. Peppa has found the first bright red arrow. <gasps> and another. Huh. Ah. <laughs> and another. <gasps> hmm. oh. <gasps> but the next sign has fallen down. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Sign. Nobody knows which way to go. Hmm. Do we go left or right? The right way sounds right. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> uh, are we lost? We're not lost. We just don't know where we are. When you don't know where you are, you are probably lost. Um... Look, oh. a duck! Hello, duck! <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Duck. Do you know where the duck pond is? What a spot of luck! Lead the way, duck. This is a duck trail, Daddy. We must all waddle like ducks. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. We're, We're going, going to the, the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're, We're going, going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Peppa and her family have made it to the duck pond. We did it! Yay! You took your time. I bet you're glad you took the diversion. Yes. It was much more fun. Whoa! <laughs> and much less slippery. Pepper and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> There's so many fish, Peppa. <gasps> How did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. <gasps> What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily, so I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means 
I can breathe underwater like you. Look. <gasps> no, Peppa. Yuck. Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. Yuck. The snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Peppa practices taking big, deep breaths. <sighs> Do you want to try again? Um, OK. I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Today is Arts and Crafts Day at Peppa's Playgroup. I have many fun <gasps> arts and crafts planned for today. First is painting. Ooh. But where are the brushes? They're right here. No one is sure what Madame Gazelle means. Where? <laughs> I don't see anything. We're doing finger painting. Instead of brushes, you paint with your hands. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup <laughs> are enjoying making their finger paintings. A lovely flower, Peppa. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. What a wonderful butterfly, Susie. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> oh, and Danny, that's a marvellous puddle. Whoop. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Whoop. Danny is jumping in his painting just like a real muddy puddle. Ah, brilliant idea, Danny. We'll do face <gasps> painting next. Everyone is getting their face painted. <laughs> Susie is a butterfly. Danny is a zebra. Freddie and Emily are a tiger and a fish. And Peppa is green. I'm green. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That gives me a fantastic idea. Madame Gazelle has brought over a big oh. canvas with tape on it. What's that, Madame Gazelle? Why, it's a beautiful picture, of course. But I don't see a picture. That's because it's not finished. Each of you take a bottle of paint and splatter as much as you like <laughs> onto this canvas. <laughs> well done, children. Get messy, have fun. Try not to spill on the floor. Everyone is having lots of fun painting on the big canvas. It's beautiful. I love it. Me too. Hmm. But I still don't see a picture. Aha! You will soon, Peppa. Madame Gazelle is taking the tape off the canvas. The tape has made the painting into the shape of... A, a star! Peppa Hello. loves... The Hello, I'm King Peppa. It's another day at Playgroup and everyone is pretending Peppa is the king. I'm the king and I say everyone should eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> Of course, Your Majesty. Hooray! <laughs> king Pepper is enjoying being king of the playgroup. She really likes all the yummy food. I've brought 
brought you some raisins, <gasps> Mrs King. Mm. Oh, thank you, Candy. I love raisins. Mmm. But I am getting very full. Um, can I be the king for a while if you're full, King Peppa? Good idea. Here you go, King Pedro. Oh. Now, Pedro Pony <laughs> is the king of the playgroup. I say everyone has to hop. Mm. Why, Mr. Hydes? Because hopping is fun. <laughs> king Pedro is right. Hopping is fun. <laughs> Very good hopping, Danny. Well, thank you, King Pedro. Hop. <laughs> King Pedro, you said everyone should hop. That means you should too. Oh, that's right. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Would you like to be the king now, Candy? <gasps> Meow. Yes, please. Hop, hop. <laughs> <laughs> now Candy is the king. <laughs> oh, I say everyone has to be really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now everyone has to be loud. <laughs> now quiet. <laughs> 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 Everyone is enjoying King Candy and King Danny's rules very much. Quiet! <laughs> now! <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> oh. Oh. Now George is the king. King George says that everyone should dinosaur. Everyone loves being king of the playgroup, but everyone loves being dinosaurs even more. Today is pancake day at Peppa's playgroup. Ah. Whoa. It's an ice cream. Can we make other pancake pictures? Yes, we can. We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Pepper pours flour into the bowl. Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What is it? Hmm. <laughs> what are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. The rainbow pancake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Can I help? Let's make the 
biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madam Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa <laughs> loves Pancake Day. <laughs> everyone loves Pancake Day. Today, everyone is playing in Peppa's garden. Emily Elephant has slipped into a big muddy puddle. <gasps> Monster! No, monsters aren't real. It's a... <gasps> hedgehog! Phew! <laughs> the hedgehog has slipped in the muddy puddle too. Don't worry, we'll help you get out. Whoa! <gasps> the hedgehog has become a prickly ball, but Edmund knows what to do. We need to get some help from a grown-up because the hedgehog is lost and prickly and we need to be careful. Oh! Mummy Pig! Daddy Pig! Mummy Pig has come to help everyone out of the muddy puddle. <laughs> and Daddy Pig is helping the hedgehog. His thick gloves keep him safe from the hedgehog's spiky back. You can put the hedgehog here. There's a blanket in there so it's nice and toasty. Blanky! Wonderful! Careful now, hedgehogs can be a little bit prickly. Hooray! I'll call you Prickles. Prickles! Dr Hamster has come to check that Prickles is safe and healthy. It was very clever to call me for help. Hooray! Prickles has rolled up into a ball again. Why does Prickles do that, Dr Hamster? Hedgehogs roll into balls when they're scared to keep themselves safe. Oh, so Prickles is scared? It's just a bit noisy, that's all. If we keep quiet, maybe a little bit of apple will help Prickles feel relaxed. <laughs> Peppa and Emily Elephant have found more than a little bit of apple. Some food and rest, and we can release Prickles into the garden when the sun goes down. Why can't we do it now? Hedgehogs are nocturnal, which means they like to explore at night and sleep in the daytime. Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. Oops, sorry Prickles. The sun is going down which means it's time for Prickles to go back home. Where do hedgehogs live, Dr Hamster? Why, in hedges, of course. <coughs> Bye, Prickles. Come and visit us again soon. Everyone loves spending time with Prickles and everyone loves seeing him get home safely. <laughs> 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 Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mommy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Uh, oh, dear. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. Hmm, maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> um, almost. Hey, 
There you go, Peppa. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm. This is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. Wow! Goal! Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Woof, woof. Hooray! But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. <laughs> <laughs> you scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Peppa is enjoying the flowers in Grandpa Pig's garden. Oh, <laughs> bless you, Peppa. What is all this yellow stuff, Grandpa? That is called pollen. Bees carry it around the garden and help flowers grow. Thank you for helping the flowers, <laughs> little bee. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Pepper. You mustn't touch the bumblebee. But why, Grandpa? It's so fuzzy and cute. Because you're very big and the bee is very small. <gasps> so it might be a bit scared. And bees can sometimes sting when they're scared. They can? Yes. So you must be very gentle with them and let them have lots of space. Some people can even be allergic to their stings. Oh. Peppa isn't sure she likes bees anymore. But bees are also very helpful and kind to the world. They're the reason we have honey. <laughs> I love honey. Bees make honey in hives, just like this one. Can I see? Can I see? Whoa there. There's lots of bees in a hive, so you'll have to change first. Ta-da! I mean, buzz buzz! Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are wearing special thick clothing that protects their heads, hands and bodies from being stung. Splendid! Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George a part of his beehive. All of those bees live in that little house? Yes! This is where they make delicious honey. Bees all work as a team to gather food and protect each other. Like me and George. <laughs> We're just like bumblebees. <laughs> buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> buzz. <laughs> what happens to all the honey that the bees make? Well, we put it in jars like this. Grandpa Pig is collecting the fresh honey in a glass jar. Then we make yummy honey sandwiches for our lunch. Mmm! This is the best sandwich ever. Thank you, little bee. Pepper loves honey sandwiches and Pepper loves bees for... Snap! Oh! Pepper is playing games with her friends. I love playing Snap. I keep winning. I 
don't like Snap. Peppa would quite like to win a game. Play snakes and ladders instead. Woohoo! Snakes and ladders. But I was winning. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'm going to win. Two places. Now I get to go up a ladder. I'm right near the finish line. Now it's your turn, Rebecca. Yeah. <gasps> oh dear, Rebecca isn't going to win if she goes down the snake. I know. Let's play Marble Run. I love Marble Run. Marble Run! But I was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! 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 My pink marble is winning. I know. Let's play Pack the Parrot. Ooh! I love Pack the Parrot. But my marble is winning. It's going to pop up. I can't look. I know. Let's play snap again. <laughs> <laughs> snap. Snakes and ladders. Peppa and her friends like swapping games. In fact, they like swapping games so much, they've forgotten who is winning. be time for a new game called Tidying Up. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Oh! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go. And the brakes make it stop. And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. Whee! It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now... How do I turn around? <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie. Forward? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <laughs> Remember to use the brake, Danny. <laughs> oh. Mummy Pig is having trouble oh. making her go kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no, thank you, Miss Rabbit. 
I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Peppa is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much better. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. There we go. Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. Peppa and George are making a special dinner Whoops. for Mummy and Daddy Pig. Grandpa Pig is helping. My goodness! We're making special Valentine's Day pizzas, Granny Pig. Because Valentine's Day is all about showing others that you love them. I know! We can make the pizzas heart-shaped. <laughs> <laughs> now, we toss the dough up into the air, just like they do in Roma. That's a place in Italy, you know. <laughs> Aha! Hmm. Whoops! <laughs> just like in Roma. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. We can cover the lumpy bits with some vegetables <gasps> from the garden. Oh. Mummy and Daddy Pig are not sure what's going on. Peppa and George are collecting vegetables. The pizzas are going to have lots of toppings. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Take the vegetables inside. Pepper and George <laughs> add vegetables to their pizza. I know how to make the pizzas even more special. We can add Mummy and Daddy Pig's favourite foods. Good idea, Pepper. What are their favourite foods? <laughs> Spaghetti and chocolate cake. <laughs> 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 We should make the pizzas look like Mummy and Daddy. Peppa and George make faces with the pizza toppings. <laughs> now they're really special. <sighs> oh, George. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Here are your extra special Valentine's Day pizzas. <sighs> Chocolate cake? My favourite! <laughs> dinosaur! A spaghetti dinosaur! Thank you, Pepper and George. <laughs> they look too good to eat. Mummy and Daddy Pig think their Valentine pizzas are very special indeed. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have been shopping at the supermarket. Goodbye, supermarket. Supermarket! <laughs> Is that a robot? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's a vending machine. You put money in to buy the food and drinks inside. Can we buy something from the robot, please? <laughs> OK. We can each choose one thing as a special treat. Yay! Peppa is very excited to buy something from the robot vending machine. Here you go, Peppa. <laughs> Goodbye, coin. Now, press the button that matches the thing you would like. I would like an orange juice. There it is. Hooray! Delicious. <laughs> Dinosaur. 
George has found a biscuit shaped like a dinosaur. Here you go, George. Now, press the button with the dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> <laughs> I think I will have... Hmm, that drink. Oh dear, it's stuck. Daddy Pig's drink is stuck on a sandwich. The sandwich is in the way. Naughty sandwich. We'll need to buy the sandwich as well, so the drink will fall down with it. Oh, it's stuck again. Naughty pineapple. Ah, let's buy that too. Stuck again, again. <laughs> the drink has finally fallen all the way down to the bottom. Goody! Yay! I can finally have my drink. <sighs> oh no. My drink has turned into fizz. Poor Daddy. Why don't you choose something else from the vending machine? Good idea. <gasps> oh, the vending machine is empty. That's because we bought everything. <laughs> <laughs> it is dinner time. But dinner has been burned. Oh dear. Do you think we can still eat it? <laughs> I think we should treat ourselves to a takeaway. Hooray! We choose what kind of food we like and it gets delivered to our house. There's Chinese takeaway, Indian takeaway, or sushi. Can we have this one, please? Peppa wants to order Chinese takeaway. Let's have this and this. And don't forget the special surprise. Ah. Peppa and her family have ordered lots of delicious food. <laughs> what happens now? Well, first the restaurant has to cook the food and then they'll deliver it. Oh, but how do they know where we live? I gave them our address when we ordered the takeaway. But how will it get here? Miss Rabbit will bring it on her bike. Oh, look, she's nearly here. Let's go and find her. <laughs> huh? Pepper and George have gone to the wrong door. Oh, oh. it's here! It's here. <laughs> Here's your takeaway, Pepper. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Got to dash. Lots of food to deliver. <laughs> Rice, noodles, Vegetable rolls. And a special Ooh. surprise for afterwards. Yay! Pepper and George don't know what the special <laughs> surprise is. Mmm, I love rice. Mmm. Mm. And I love my spicy noodles. They're my favourite. Ooh, they might be my favourite too. Can I try some? Yes. But just try a tiny bit. Mmm, I love noodles. Oh, but they are a bit spicy. Spicy ow, noodles ow, ow, ow. are not Pepper's <laughs> favourite. Here, try a vegetable spring roll. Mmm, vegetable spring rolls are my favourite. <laughs> Peppa and her family have finished their Chinese takeaway. Are you ready for the special surprise? Hooray! These are called fortune cookies. They have a special message inside that brings you good luck. Ooh. This good luck tastes amazing. Peppa loves Chinese takeaway. <laughs> Everyone loves Chinese takeaway. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
almost got you. Peppa is trying very hard to open a piñata and get the treats inside because today Peppa's playgroup are learning about a Mexican holiday called Cinco de Mayo. Oh, children! We need more decorations for the classroom to make the class look extra happy. So let's make some pom-pom flowers. Pom-pom! <laughs> I like that word. Pom 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 Just attach the cardboard stem to the middle of the ball of tissue paper and voila! Wow! Aha! Aha! I can't make the flower. I will help you. Hmm. This is tricky. Oh, dear. <laughs> Everyone has made a lot of pom-pom flowers. Well, did we make too many? Of course not. Now our classroom looks extra, extra happy. Next, we're going to make some delicious guacamole. Guacamole? Guacamole. Mm. It's a Mexican treat made of avocados, and you eat it with carrots or cucumber <gasps> or special crisps called tortillas. Oh. Guacamole. <laughs> guacamole. 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 <laughs> Madam Gazelle is peeling an avocado and adding some lime juice and salt to the bowl. Now we just need to mash it all together. <laughs> oh, mmm, guacamole. Would anyone like to try some guacamole? Yes, please. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Mm. Yummy guacamole, mm. yummy guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, Peppa. Another way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo is to sing. Yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole. And dancing is another important part of Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa has hit the piñata and all the sweets are pouring out. Peppa is enjoying her first Cinco de Mayo and really enjoying... Peppa and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Police, we'll help you. <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino! Bye. Nino! Oh, my! What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Oh. Don't worry. Me and police officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you seen oh. the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well... We'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> it's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue. Aha, uh -huh. 
You've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Peppa and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! Oh, but they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning. Then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it! <laughs> we solved the mystery! <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> it's time to get ready for playgroup, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, hello, Santa. Back already? Today is Peppa's first day back at playgroup after the Christmas holidays. No, Mummy, it's me. But Peppa <laughs> is not ready for Christmas to be over. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's a wonderful outfit, but I don't think it's right for playgroup. But I like dressing up as Santa. I don't want Christmas to be over. It's so much fun. I know, but playgroup can be lots of fun too. You'd better go and pack your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Pepper. That's a very full backpack you've got there. <coughs> and quite heavy, too. <sighs> Phew, what have you got in there? Just some tinsel to make the playgroup sparkly. I see. A toy I got from Santa. Oh, my. Some candy cane. Delicious. <laughs> Oh, and some Brussels sprouts. Hmm, maybe you should take some things that are a bit more useful for playgroup. Like what? Maybe some crayons for colouring in, some yummy fruit, and a book to read. Oh, Santa brought me that book. That's a good idea. <laughs> Time to go, Peppa. <laughs> Oh, can we ride the sled to playgroup? I love going fast. Whee! <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. There isn't any snow. Even the snowman is almost gone. I think we'll have to take the car today, Peppa. Oh, OK. I know you're sad Christmas is over, but I promise Playgroup can be just as fun. Everyone at Playgroup is very happy to see Peppa this morning. Welcome back, Peppa. Did you have a fun Christmas break? I... <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Do you want to play dress up with me? Oh, yes. I love dressing up. <laughs> or we could read a book. I got a new book from Santa. <gasps> Let's race each other on our scooters. Oh, yes, please. <gasps> Playgroup is just as fun as Christmas. <laughs> Peppa really loves Christmas, but she also... Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> No, you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping presents is really fun. 
You can put the bow on top. No, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. Baby Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Peppa most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. <laughs> Today is sports day at Peppa's playgroup. There is a pink team and a blue team. They're trying to win gold medals. I'm going to win! <laughs> Whoops! Rebecca Rabbit is finding the sack race quite difficult. Yay! Hooray! Emily Elephant on the pink team has won the sack race. Hooray! You're so fast! Squeak! Oh no! I lost! You did your best! And we can still win! Oh. Now it is time for the egg and spoon race. Faster, Peppa! Squeak! But Peppa is finding it difficult to run fast and balance her egg. Slower, Peppa! Don't drop the egg! OK. <laughs> Slow down, Danny! But don't go too slow! Slower! Faster! Slower! No faster! Phew! Squeak! <laughs> no! Phew! No! <laughs> It's a draw between the two teams. The next game is ring toss. Whichever team hooks the most rings onto the wooden stick will win sports day. That's one point for each team. <laughs> Another point for each team. It's still a draw. Rebecca and Freddy, it's your turn. If I miss, we'll lose. Oh, don't worry about winning. Just do your best. And have lots of fun. <coughs> yeah. Yay! Yay! We lost. Squeak. But 
we had a lot of fun anyway. You're right, Peppa. Well done, Pink Team. You get gold medals. <laughs> and the blue team did really well too. So they get silver medals. Wow! The pink team and the blue team love sports day. Everyone loves... <laughs> wow! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are on a trip to a bug museum. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> This room is all about ants. It even has some big robotic ants to look at. Don't worry, it's not a real ant. It's a big robot. Ooh, I love robots. Whoa! Ants work together as a team to bring food to their queen. Would you like to try being ants? Can I be the queen? Yes! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Peppa's friends are racing against the ants. They have to get the foam leaf to Queen Peppa. <laughs> Whee! Yes! Yay! Well done, everyone. You worked as a team just like ants. Ah. This room is all about bees. It even has bee <laughs> costumes for dressing up. <laughs> you look the bee's knees. Can you find your way through the beehive like real bees? <laughs> well, go. <laughs> Everyone loves being bees, but the beehive is very confusing. They're lost. <laughs> Bees follow the sun to find their way. Buzz! We can follow the sun too. <laughs> Everyone is following the sun to find their way, just like real bees. <laughs> Beautiful work, everyone. Yeah! <laughs> the last room has something very special inside. Squeak! It's so pretty! But nobody knows what it is. Inside is something very colourful. Is it a parrot? Quack! It has big wings. Or a dragon? Rawr! And it used to be a caterpillar. Hmm. It's a <gasps> butterfly! Peppa and her friends love learning about all the bugs at the Big Bug Museum. Oh, another apple. Uh. By the power of vegetables, I am here! One moment! Whoa. Um, now I am here! Wow! Whoa. It is I, the superest superhero ever! And I've come here to teach you all how to be superheroes too! Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are all dressed as superheroes. Your first lesson of superhero school is to use your superhero powers to do something kind for the world. <gasps> Susie is being kind to the worm by helping to dig its hole. Freddy is being kind to the plant by watering it. And Pepper is being kind to the whole world by making sure all the rubbish is recycled and not on the floor. You all did so well in your first lesson. The next lesson in superhero school is to finish this obstacle course and save Madame Gazelle from the supervillains. On your marks, get set, go! But everyone is too tired to run. We're all puffed out. Why can't we run fast? 
fast and be super strong. Aren't we superheroes? Hmm. I've got it. Has anyone had any fruits or vegetables today? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to eat my carrots today. And I left my apple in my lunchbox. Aha! Fruits and vegetables help us stay healthy and give us super energy. Superheroes ah. must have lots of energy to run and jump. Madam Gazelle has set up a table with plates of delicious fruits and vegetables to eat. Peppa and her friends have eaten their fruits and vegetables. Now they have lots of super energy and are ready to try again. My superheroes! Congratulations! You have all been super today! And every superhero gets a hero's reward! What would you like? Are there any more carrots? By the power of fruits and vegetables, Peppa and her playgroup have saved the day. <laughs>